हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम अरमोगान एंड यू आर वाचिंग निंजा इरा के दिन आर यूट्यूब चैनल होपफुली यू ऑल डूइंग वेल गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू ऑल आई ट्राई माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इरा के दिन सो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे द इंफॉर्मेशन हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इफ यू हैवन ऑलरेडी प्लीज सब्सक्राइब फॉर मोर वीडियोस एंड अपडेट्स टुडे We're diving into the latest news about the Iraqi dinar and the Vietnamese dong. There's been a lot of buzz surrounding these currencies, but it's important to separate fact from fiction. Despite the numerous rumors, significant revaluations of these currencies are unlikely to happen anytime soon. This is due to several factors, with the most notable being that a country's exchange rate reflects its economic growth and success rather than being the result of arbitrary changes. Intel Group member Frank 26 recently commented on this issue, stating that those who insist this is an RV are misinformed. This is not an RV, this is a restatement. This highlights the misunderstanding some people have about the nature of currency valuation changes. Switching gears to the Iraqi dinar, the current selling price of documentary credits and international settlements for electronic cards is 1310 dinars per dollar. The selling price for remittances abroad is also 1310 dinars per dollar, while the cash selling price is slightly higher at 1350 dinars per dollar. These rates indicate the current state of the dinar in the international market and are crucial for anyone involved in trading or investing in this currency. In legislative news, the Parliamentary Development and Investment Committee announced today, Saturday, that there are significant developments regarding the amendment of the investment law. This amendment aims to cancel the exemptions granted to some companies implementing projects, a move that could have substantial implications for the business environment in Iraq. The committee is currently awaiting further updates. The deputy chairman of the Iraqi State Council, Hussein Al Abri, provided additional insights during an interview with Al Maria TV, highlighting the committee's focused efforts to amend the 2006 investment law, law number 13. According to Al Abri, the committee has already prepared a draft amendment and is actively engaging in numerous workshops with the national authority, local authorities, and investors to refine the proposed changes. He emphasized that the amendment aims to address several pressing issues currently affecting Iraq's investment climate. One of the main concerns is the presence of exceptions and loopholes within the existing law, which have allowed influential individuals to secure major projects. This situation has often led to the misuse and wastage of public funds. By closing these loopholes, the amendment seeks to establish a more transparent and equitable investment environment. Al Abri noted that while the exceptions in the current law have some positive aspects, they also present significant challenges that must be addressed to foster fair competition and ensure the efficient utilization of public resources. In conclusion, while there is a great deal of speculation and misinformation circulating about the Iraqi dinar and the Vietnamese dong, it is essential to rely on accurate information and grasp the broader economic context. Legislative changes such as the amendment of the investment law in Iraq are steps toward enhancing the economic framework. However, significant currency revaluations necessitate sustained economic growth and stability. Stay tuned for more updates and insights on these developments.